Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Simon from Como, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about WhatsApp ads. Every day, more and more customers choose WhatsApp as their primary platform to reach out to businesses. Coupled with Facebook and Instagram, you could generate thousands of WhatsApp contacts with the help of click to WhatsApp ads. Running these ads is perfect if you're trying to increase WhatsApp contract lists, facilitate customer engagement, and of course, boost your own sales. So if you want to find out why you need WhatsApp ads, what you can do with them, or how to create and run them, stay tuned to find out the answers. First, let's define what a WhatsApp ad is. WhatsApp ads are call to action buttons that are added to your Facebook or Instagram ads to redirect your potential leads to a WhatsApp chat with your business. There, they can get more information about your products or service and directly interact with your sales rep. WhatsApp ads are not much different from other ads you run on Facebook or Instagram. The only difference is the send message call to action button at the bottom of the ad, which redirects potential leads right to your WhatsApp app or WhatsApp web. WhatsApp ads are becoming increasingly popular for businesses to generate new leads and establish a two-way communication channel. The main advantage of using WhatsApp ads is that they can boost your WhatsApp marketing strategy. In other words, more WhatsApp leads equals more WhatsApp sales. With WhatsApp ads, you can exponentially grow your WhatsApp contact list with minimal effort, allowing you to automatically save your leads as contacts. However, WhatsApp ads are more than that. They also allow you to answer frequently asked questions and receive feedback, turn leads into customers through the conversation, instantly respond to messengers with a chatbot, send images, videos, and documents, and call leads to resolve any problems. If you're using a WhatsApp business app, you can also enjoy some extra features like creating a business profile with your address, business description, email, and website, adding your products to catalogs, using fast replies, as well as organizing your chats with labels. We've just learned about how awesome WhatsApp ads are. Now let's find out how we can implement them. Before we begin, make sure your WhatsApp business account is connected to your Facebook page. This can be done in your Facebook business page settings. All right, now let's take a look at how to create your first WhatsApp ad. You can set it up by doing one of the following things, boosting a post on your page or creating an ad in Facebook Ads Manager. Facebook Ads Manager has more advanced targeting and optimization, which is why here we will opt for the second option. To create, click to WhatsApp ads with the Ads Manager, first go to Facebook Ads Manager. Choose the Campaigns tab and click on the green Create button with a plus sign. Then select the objective of the future campaign. But remember that WhatsApp ads can be launched only with traffic, engagement, or sales objectives. We'll go for the traffic objective first. Once you've decided on the objective, click Continue. Every campaign starts the same way. So to kick it off, edit the campaign name and its categories. Let's pretend we are a local bakery in Manchester and we want to advertise our homemade Christmas treats during the upcoming Christmas season. So we're going to call our campaign Christmas Treats. Here, you can also create an A-B test to see which type of ad your target audience finds more appealing. Also, if you're a newbie, you can turn on Advantage Campaign Budget Plus, which will automatically help you optimize your campaign budget. But we're gonna skip both options for now and just click Next. Now is where things start getting a little bit trickier. From this point onwards, the steps for each objective will slightly differ. But we'll continue with our traffic objective first. Once you get to the next page, you'll be asked where you want to drive traffic. Now we want the traffic to be sent to our WhatsApp app, so here we select WhatsApp as your conversation destination. Then we choose from which Facebook page we want to run our ads and ensure that page is connected to our WhatsApp account. Now keep in mind that you can only connect a WhatsApp number associated with your WhatsApp business app. Next, select the budget and schedule. Let's say we want to spend on average $6 a day on our ad. We want it to start on the 12th of December at 1 p.m. because we've heard that's the best time to post on Facebook for more engagement. We've also planned to run this campaign for two weeks so that it will end right on Christmas Day. Now, let's imagine we want to target the city of Manchester for our campaign. So, under location, we select Manchester. 
We want to leave our target age the same between 80 and 65 plus. We also want them to represent all genders and speak English. OK, perfect. We'll skip detail targeting for this one. If you want to save this audience for your future campaigns, make sure to click Save this audience and then give it a name. Let's call it Holiday Spirit. Here, we'll keep Advantage Plus placements. Facebook definitely knows better how to maximize our budget on ads. Optimization and ad delivery is an optional setting, so we'll leave it as is and click Continue and go to Add Settings. So here, we'll select a manual upload and choose a single image or video as our format. Now, we've reached the fun part. Under Ad Creative, we can select a media for our ad. Let's find the most mouth-watering picture of our cupcakes. Perfect, nobody could skip that. Let's add a catchy text to our ad right now. How about, you can now pre-order Martha's legendary cupcakes, which will be the pinnacle of your Christmas dinner. Our headline will be, pre-order now. And for the description, we can say, Manchester's finest, Martha's Bakery is opening a pre-order for a limited number of its legendary cupcakes. Order one now before it's too late. Okay, I think our ad looks pretty great. What do you think? Okay, let's make sure our call to action is set to send WhatsApp message. So our leads go straight to our WhatsApp account, done. Now let's look at our beautiful ad one last time to make sure there are no mistakes. And we can finally hit publish. Brilliant, one is done, two more to go, let's do it. The steps to create the ad campaign with the engagement objective are quite similar, but there are still a few differences. Let's pretend we are running the same Christmas treats campaign, so most of our settings will remain the same. The first thing we'll have to do is a conversion. Unlike the previous campaign, there is no specific option for WhatsApp, so we are selecting messaging apps. Then set your ad type to click to message. This is very important, so make sure that you do do this. Then we choose the same Facebook business page. Here we can finally specify the messaging app we are available to chat on. So we select WhatsApp and a WhatsApp number that we did for our previous objective. Now, just like with the traffic objective, we set up the same budget and schedule, audience, placements, and optimization and ad delivery for our next campaign and click next. The ad setup page is also very similar to the previous campaign, so we won't have to make any changes here. And once again, we can hit publish. Now, last but not least, a campaign with a sales objective. So let's get back to our conversion destination. Like before, we will choose our Facebook page with a WhatsApp number already connected. However, unlike the ad campaign with the traffic objective, this campaign asks you to set up a meta pixel. So what is a meta pixel? Meta pixel is a piece of code that you can put on your website to track the effectiveness of your ad campaigns by understanding the actions people take on your website. To set up your meta pixel, you will need a name for your pixel, your website URL, and a developer, unless of course you are a tech guru yourself. Now, once you install meta pixel, you can select an event on your website. For example, add to cart, subscribe or complete registration to use as a conversion for this campaign. After that, the procedure is the same as before. We select the budget and schedule. Audience, placements and optimization and add delivery for our campaign and click next. Then we set up our ad and add a creative and message template. When it comes to tracking, the Metapixel on our website will be tracked by default. Voila, another ad is done. Now let's hit publish. Whew, right, I think we deserve one of those cupcakes after all the work that we've just done. So what our team at Como wants to share with you next is a life hack. But before we do that, let me introduce you to Como. Now, Como is the world's first messenger-based sales CRM solution, or as we call it, a communication hub for all your valuable business conversations. Each potential lead gets their own lead card where you can communicate with them using their favorite messenger, WhatsApp, but not only. With Como, you can also set tasks, track progress, automate routine tasks, organize your sales process, and much more. 
On top of providing you with the most innovative CRM solution on the market, our goal is to introduce you to the latest sales and marketing tools to help your business scale. This is why we want to provide you with one of the coolest life hacks when it comes to WhatsApp marketing and lead generation, a WhatsApp link. WhatsApp link is a clickable link that redirects your website visitors to WhatsApp Messenger on their smartphone or desktop, encouraging them to start a conversation without any extra steps. We've just talked about WhatsApp ads with a WhatsApp CTA button, but there are more ways to redirect your leads from a Facebook ad straight to your WhatsApp chat, and the best one is using a WhatsApp link, or as we call it, the magic link. All you have to do is copy and paste a WhatsApp link to the primary text of any ad you make, and your potential leads can reach out to you on WhatsApp with no steps in between. You can also add a pre-filled message to your WhatsApp link, similar to the message template we did for our ad campaigns, reducing the number of steps the lead has to take to contact you, whilst at the same time providing valuable information to your sales team about their intentions. To get the most out of the WhatsApp link, you can either use a WhatsApp business app or a WhatsApp API. WhatsApp API is an application for medium to large businesses with a need to communicate with customers at a larger scale. The platform allows multiple agents to access one WhatsApp account. The difference is that with a WhatsApp API, you'll be able to work with a larger number of leads simultaneously and integrate it with a CRM solution to further automate the lead generation process. The application also comes with advanced features that can't be found in a regular WhatsApp business app, including WhatsApp chatbot, automation, templates personalization, and unlimited broadcasts. Unlike WhatsApp Business App, WhatsApp API has no app or front-end interface, so it has to be integrated into a CRM solution. But luckily, Como is the number one WhatsApp CRM in the market. If you don't have a WhatsApp link, use our WhatsApp link generator to get one. It will only take you a minute. Okay, I admit that was a lot to get through, but don't worry, it gets easier once you start doing it. And the great news is that our team is always here to help you. Now, when you publish your first ad, potential leads will start pouring into your WhatsApp and things might get a little bit overwhelming. That's when Como will save the day. Integrating Como with WhatsApp will allow you to automate most of your sales processes. The magic happens when a potential lead sends you a message in the WhatsApp chat after they see your WhatsApp ad. When they hit the send button, a notification with the lead data is sent directly to Como sales pipeline. Typically, the data about your lead includes their full name, a phone number, and a message from your message template. Along with that, Como automatically creates a lead card for each profile and uses it to store every interaction you have with your leads. So there's no need to sort or update endless rows of data manually. Como will do all of that for you, but that's not all. With Como's Visual Builder, you can also create WhatsApp chatbots, or as we like to call them, sales bots, because they are meant to sell, not just chat, to further reduce manual input and keep the leads engaged 24-7. Como's sales bot can collect lead data, answer frequently asked questions, process orders, make appointments, and send marketing campaigns. The best part is that you won't even need programming skills to make one. Basically, the sales bot can perform the lion's share of your routine work at almost no cost. The bot can automatically move lead cards across stages of the sales pipeline, creating a smooth flow of events as the lead moves to purchase your services or product. Once a potential customer asks to speak to one of your agents, sales bot will move the lead to the negotiation stage. By the way, the pipeline stages are also customizable according to your business needs. When the lead card is moved, the team will be immediately informed that a lead is waiting to speak to one of your sales reps. Think of it as your secretary that never clocks out. And the magic doesn't stop there because even when a human takes over, there is still room for automation. While chatting with the lead, your sales rep can use pre-made chat templates to respond to repeat messages or resolve specific inquiries like invoices or confirmation messages. At the end of the conversation, the sales rep notes the final details and adds a task for tomorrow to follow up with the lead. In case the other person has to take over the lead, they won't miss out on any important details. Since leads don't have UTMs, it can be a huge problem with WhatsApp ads to check and track their quality. With Como SalesBot, however, you can add unique tags to leads generated from multiple WhatsApp ad campaigns and track the quantity and quality of those WhatsApp leads. 
To do so, you'll need to create several sales chatbots that are triggered by different WhatsApp pre-filled messages. Here's how it works. Start a bot with a condition step. Now let's add a few conditions. If client message equals manual input WA pre-filled message number one, if client message equals manual input WA pre-filled message number two, if client message equals manual input WA pre-filled message number three, add next step, set field to each condition. Set lead field to WA pre-filled message number one, Google. Set lead field to WA pre-filled message number two, Facebook. Set lead field to WA pre-filled message number three, YouTube. Add next step, manage tags to each condition. Add a tag to WA pre-filled message number one, Google. Add a tag to WA pre-filled message number two, Facebook. Add a tag to WA pre-filled message number three, YouTube. Close all bots. It's important to have unique pre-filled messages in your WhatsApp ads campaigns. Here's how your tagged WhatsApp contacts will look like in the Como pipeline. You'll be able to easily navigate and identify from which campaign the leads come and track your ROI. Also, you can monitor the number of generated leads daily, weekly, or monthly, as well as how many leads you have in each sales stage and check which campaigns are performing better. You can also learn more about how to track and measure your sales in Como by watching our video. There are endless ways in which Como can help you manage your leads and not only in WhatsApp. For example, it can give conversation access to your whole team, personalize customer experience, automate tasks and set reminders, identify workflows that are wasting time, find which approaches help you close more sales, analyze buyers to understand your target customer, segment advertising campaigns, and also monitor team workload, performance, and results. Now, you've just learned tons of information on how to run WhatsApp ads on Facebook, but the best thing about WhatsApp is that it can be used in many other ways to generate more leads and boost your sales. Check out the description below for some useful links. If you want to learn more about WhatsApp marketing, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to make sure you don't miss out on our new videos. Thanks for watching everyone, keep safe and I'll see you very soon.